First game they vlog. We are getting ready for shoot around. Thank you for coming, you know. Gaetan is here again. Did he hit it? He made it, he made it. We got a big game today. Jeff's in the back too. My name is Jeff. Game day, my first game day vlog. I'm gonna be doing these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know how I'm gonna do the format yet, but I hope y'all stay tuned, enjoy. I will see y'all after we do after we do our shoot around. All right, so we just finished our shoot around. Head into the hotel to rest, eat, get ready for tonight. So it's gonna be a big test for us. Looking forward to it. This team's supposed to be pretty good. Um, we're a little undersized right now because we're still waiting on a few players. But we gotta get the job done no matter what, you know. There's Toma in the back. Trying to get y'all attention. But yeah, so we got just finished shoot around, heading to the hotel, gonna rest, eat, refuel for tonight, and I'll see y'all there. Go ahead, bro. Gaytown wants to film, you want to film me? So we're here, we're going to have lunch um, with the team. After, we go back to the hotel, take a nap, get a snack, and we head to the arena. Gaytown. Can't wait. See you all in a bit. Let's go.
the next morning. Okay. I was gonna film this in my room, but I realized I needed to get out and get out the room for a little bit to clear the mind, to reset kind of. So before I start, I'm gonna say this one time and one time only because I don't want it to be a constant excuse or whatever. Our team is the only team in our entire league in France that can practice because our city shut down our arena, shut down the gyms, everything is shut down for all professional sports in the city. So going into this game, we had no practice. We went one day early um, to where we were about to play and we had a practice where we were just preparing for the team for about an hour and a half. That was our only practice in the last two weeks. Other than that, we had trainings we were doing like with therapy and things like that, physical stuff, but no basketball. I want to say that once because I don't want that to be an excuse, but it's kind of the reality. But I won't base this off of that. We were up against a good team. We knew they were a good team. Clearly a team with a lot of chemistry, a lot of history. Um, and as you can see by the score, we, we lost. And we lost big. And there were a few things I think happened. I think we ran out of gas. We started off the game really good. A lot of energy, a lot of focus. We were winning going into halftime. Uh, in the third quarter, um, they just had energy. They had a lot more depth and we didn't. And so in the third quarter, we scored five points and they scored, I think, 37 points in the third quarter, just in the third quarter. So that's kind of what decided the game. That third quarter always usually decides the game. Um, they came out with gas and we, we didn't have any more left, I feel like. From a team perspective, I feel like we communicated well for what it was worth. First half was really good. We just have to find a way to finish games. And it's the first game of the season and we tried to postpone both of our first two games and our own federation told us we can't postpone it because um, basically the show must go on type thing. And if we postpone, we would consider it a forfeit, which I think is so unfair to us seeing that we just didn't practice. Like we, we the only team that can practice, but you want us to go and play a game. But whatever. From a personal perspective, I probably had, has on my worst day as a basketball player in my short career. Like this, this was a bad day for me in every way. Um, except defensively, I was, I was good. Um, offensively, I, I was bad. That was bad. There's no other way to put it. Everybody know basketball is a game of rhythm. If you don't have a rhythm as a shooter, as a player, it's, it's hard to score and do what you're supposed to do. I had no rhythm because we don't get reps. We don't get to do anything. We just pull up to a game like, and you just got to hope that you on that thing. And when you have a rhythm and when you could train, you don't have to hope. You know you won because you've been training for this this whole week. You know what it is. So, a little frustrated in that way, well, very frustrated, but now I think i a little better. Um, but I just was upset with myself because um, I just didn't play good. And when I don't play good, it affects me in a lot of ways. And I'm trying to be better with, with that and not allowing it to, I guess, control me so much. But I'm a basketball player. Like, this is my job. This is my life. Of course, when I do bad, I can feel a certain way. So, I say all that to say, it wasn't a good day, but there were some lessons that we learned. And we signed a new player recently that I think it really put together a lot of our really good pieces that we have already. We could play with a little more flow, a little more pace, a little more, I don't know, a little more purpose. And I think that with that, we could, we could be a dangerous team, seriously. And right now, we don't have our identity yet. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. Like I said, no practicing, no, we still missing a few players. And I think when we get everybody together, we could really, really make some noise. And, and I gotta be better, I gotta be better. It's that simple, I just gotta play better. Um, offensively, I need to be more aggressive. I wasn't aggressive last night and it showed. And so, yeah. I wanna bring these game day vlogs to y'all as much as I can. I'm not too sure what the format is gonna be like yet still working that through but i want to start filming and start seeing what works and what doesn't work so well on the channel this is episode one um 
of probably a lot more game day vlogs to come because it's, it's kind of where I want my channel to go. I want my channel to go in the direction of uh, basketball content. So, because it's, it's, it's my life, it's literally what I do. So I want it to go into my life, things I do with my life. So that's what it is. We have a uh, practice tomorrow actually, but it's about an hour away. So we were able to get a gym outside of the city so that we can at least have a practice. Um, so we have a game on Saturday against another pretty good team and we just have to come ready to go. Like it, it's that simple. I don't even know how, how else to put it. We just gotta be ready to go and that's what it is. So I hope y'all enjoyed the first vlog, the first episode of my game day vlogs. I'm gonna start a whole series for this and I hope that y'all are gonna enjoy this coming up. It's gonna be some cool content. Probably a lot of content y'all probably never seen and that's kind of where it is. Seeing everything through my through my through my lens. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, um, I'll put my Instagram information here. I now have two Instagrams. One to my personal page and then my other is now my photography page. So I'm trying to get into that. And if y'all would like to be a part of that, feel free to follow me. Feel free to send a little message, whatever you'd like. And right now I could really use some encouragement. I could really use it. So if you have any encouraging words, even in the comments below, I really, really appreciate it. It's a long season ahead, but sometimes you just need a little bit of positivity to pick you up in your darkest times, especially being here alone and being away from home and family and friends for a long time. So during the year is usually a little bit of a struggle, you know, trying to pick yourself up. And if you got any encouraging words, feel free. I really appreciate it. So with that being said, I hope that y'all enjoyed this first episode of my game day vlog series i love y'all until the next video i will see y'all peace